Well, hello there. We are Intergalactic Gaming Roundtable. That's the name we went with, isn't it? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Probably. Sounds stupid like I came up with it. That's accurate. This is going to be our first um, podcast that has a YouTube version in which you can watch us play a game. Yeah. Although it won't be very interesting, because we probably won't be talking about the game at all. Um, anyway, we're playing uh, Civilization V, and yes. I am Polynesian Empire, and you are... I am the Shoshone. There you go. So if you want to watch, go to YouTube, and I'll put a link somewhere. Um, oh my goodness. I'm going to name my town Silverton, because there are three silver deposits in the hills next to me. My god. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is Planetary Annihilation, because that's really upset me when I went and looked at it. Yes. Do you want me to say something about that? Well, I, I mean... First off, they charged... How much was it at the beginning? It was like 80... It was a lot, like It was like, like 80, 80 bucks. bucks or something. Yeah. So they wanted $80 for this game that was in... What did they call it? They had like it their own like gamma, gamma like, stage or whatever, which was which bullshit. Is... Um, and then I think you and I bought it when it was like 40 bucks, mm -hmm. And it was still in beta then, right? Yeah, it was pretty trash. And... It wasn't good. It was alright, no. but it wasn't good. And it was like, the AI was either really fast or dumb. <laughs> like, they didn't it, it have went, anything in between. It was hard or stupid. Like, it was really bad. And they promised it was going to have, like, space combat and all this cool shit. It didn't have any of that. And it was kind of hard to control stuff or tell what was going on. Yeah. Uh, and that was, what, a year ago that we got that, maybe? I want to say it was, like, last summer, but... Yeah, but I don't feel like they ever really completed the game, honestly. No, no, they didn't. And then yeah, they came out with, this past week, a standalone version, a standalone expansion pack for it that's $40 that adds in all the stuff that they promised would be in the original version. Ugh. And they left out. I forget yeah. what it's called, because it was so dumb that I immediately was called... upset and didn't care. Titan something? Oh, yeah, Titans, I think. Planetary Nation Titans. Anyway, stay away from that garbage, because yeah, it's like, that's bullshit. They're just, they were just gouging us for money, so essentially they completed the game. I'm pretty sure they completed the game and had everything already done. They didn't put it in what they had already given to, like, promised the Kickstarters. Made you pay for an unfinished game, and then waited a little while, and then released all the content they said they were going to give you originally, and made you pay extra money for it. Yep. So, they're assholes. Yeah. Yep, and I... That's I... unforgivable, really. Good luck with that <sighs> with that company because pe that really pisses people off. So I've been playing Galactic Civilizations three on like insane map Oops. size, and it's really fun because then I don't have to like interact with any of the other races for a while. So it makes me build up my Galactic Empire till it's really powerful. And I made it so there weren't very many planets, and there weren't very many inhabitable planets. So you kind of be fighting over resources and shit. A good idea. That's really fun. So even if the other people have a lot of planets, they might have been very good. And I just had like tons of ships. I had all I had the most technology, and it's just pretty good. And because I was so powerful, everyone was scared of me, and they were like giving me technology that I didn't have. They're like, "Oh, I want to give you this gift." I'm like, oh, "Idiot!" <laughs> it was oh, great. It's so precious. Oh, what? Choose ancient ruin bonus. What's this? Who are you playing oh. as? Oh, the Shoshone get to choose what they That's get? That's right. Yeah, the Shoshone get to choose their ruin. Oh, yeah. So did they fix a lot of the problems with it then? Like, um... Some of it, but they made some stupid DLC. Like, they made, uh, map DLC, and then, like, uh... Maps? It's fucking space. Yeah, it was, like, a scenario. I don't know if it was scenario. Was it scenario? And they added, like, a, a galactic, like, event, like, major events thing that you had to pay five bucks for. I was like, okay. But it it added events that give you a whole bunch of, um, how's it called? You know, the points for, like, different ideologies? Oh, yeah. Um, so, like, something will pop yeah. up and you can, like, click it and be, like, 30 points. So that's pretty sweet. But they also had major, major events that were, like, um big fleets would come in like dreadlord fleet or like um something called like guardians or something i don't know there's all these different like big events that were, like really tough but they're like more like mid late game events 
some people were saying that it was ruining the game because they like appear too early and you'd be just wrecked. Mm. I, I didn't. I played for like three hundred something turns and I didn't see any of that stuff yet. So. Oh well, that sounds good. We'll have to try it again. I think. Yeah, it's it's, it's not a bad game. I really like it. So I played Shadowrun Hong Kong because you got it for me. Mm -hmm. Such a nice man. I know. He's so nice. And um. That game is good. It's like the other ones. It's almost the same, you know? Like, you played... Yeah. Did you play both of the other ones? I have played the first game, and I beat that. Retur Shadowrun Returns. Yeah, but I didn't play the one Dragonfall. I have, I have it, but I haven't played it much. Dragonfall is really good. They're, they get better every time. This one's better than Dragonfall. And I thought Dragonfall is better than Returns. And it's pretty good. It's... it's Hong Kong, Shadow in Hong Kong, so it takes place in Hong Kong, if you can believe that. I and, can't. Yeah, I, yeah. And, um, this, it has yeah. more, like, opportunity for you to, um, like, pick up people. Uh -huh. Like, more, more runners to, like, yeah. tag along with you. And, um, I don't want to spoil too much, but if you, there's one particular mission where if you do it right, you get basically a zombie fucking samurai guy. That is excellent. And he's, like, badass. He's super, Oops. super opes. And I really like it. Like, it kind of gives you, um... In Dragonfall, there's kind of, like, that central area you return to. That yeah. gives you, uh... Like, your, where you buy your, your shit. Yeah. Like, the HQ? Yeah. And, like, you can go around the, the village and, and get, um... The village. The city... And get different, like upgrades, like guns and things. Uh huh. And it has it has a similar thing that's really cool. And there's like a, a club that's run by this one family, and the and the dad is like the, like he runs it right. And then one of the sons is like the bouncer at the front door, and then one of the other sons is a drug dealer, and the mom sells like weapons out of the back. <laughs> and I was like, God, what if what wow. a family enterprise they have here? And that sound, but it's and uh, yeah. You can get some cool armor. I have like an Ares, or not Ares, maybe it is Ares. No, it's, you know, there's like all those different police forces. It's not, I want to say it's Knight Errant, but it's, I don't think it is. But it's one of the police forces. It's like their special armor. I have oh, that oh, suit of armor. That's really cool. And, uh, yeah, they've got a lot of cool armor. And there's like some really cool runs, like ones completely different than the other, other kinds of runs they had in like, um, Dragonfall right. and stuff. But it still has that overarching, like, you're doing this while you look for something else. Yeah. With the main storyline. Yeah. And I don't remember what it was for Shadowrun Returns. It was like the those weird bug things or whatever. Yeah, it was like some interdimensional bugs were it was trying like to take over. Some Yeah, some, uh, like, club or whatever. Was it was like a cult. The there was a like cult. a cult, yeah, like a, a cult. church. Hmm. And you're, you had to attack them and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's really good, and I've, I like that a lot. I played it way too long yesterday, and like my neck was fucking super stiff afterwards. <laughs> um, and then we were talking about Sims 4, right? Oh god, it's just... They're just money-grubbing bastards over in EA, honestly. It's really sad, because Sims is a game I've played since I was like a really small man. Yeah. Like, way too young to probably be playing it. <laughs> Yeah, I remember yeah. playing the original Sims and stuff. And just now that they they cut out features, right? Yeah, they they kind of like dangle features. You're like, oh, we're gonna put this out. And like they're trying to change it because like, oh, people, you know, people are getting mad that we're they're, we're making them buy all these DLC packs and and full expansions that don't really add that much stuff that could be in the original game. So now, on top of still doing that, they're also making you pay or not pay but wait for like updates content updates to add like random things like oh you can make pools now like oh you can pools, lock your front yeah. door now like you can lock doors they add that in finally where you can lock doors yeah and i'm like are you fucking kidding me why can't this just be in the game this is really stupid so yep yeah, i that's feel good it makes me happy it and then we both talked about like trying to play the game again and going to the page where you select a family and then just immediately quitting because it was like I don't feel like doing that. any of these. Yeah, it's done like five or six times that month. We <laughs> like, definitely played oh, it a lot when it came out, play. though. 
Yeah. I was like, oh, oh, I, re- I really want to play it. And then I was like, uh, let's <laughs> <I just> quit. <laughs> uh, I just can't be bothered. Never mind. Oops. I forgot to shoot this guy. Shoot him with gun. Not in face. Yeah. Uh, and then we played um, Empyrean. Imperium. Imperium, yeah. Uh, you can watch a video of that on my channel. Also, yeah. the contest is over, so stop asking me about it. And the winner Epic has shot. not claimed their prize, so don't know what to do about that. I think the game's gonna be really fun, honestly. I, I do, do too. It needs more work, but oh look, they're sieging my city. That's good. Oh, so precious. Are you building great library? Uh, no. Nope. I haven't researched that yet. Right. Um. So yeah, Imperium, I really like that game. It's good. You should pick it up. It's still yeah. probably not that expensive. It's I mean, I feel like it has a lot of potential, like it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool once they've added a lot more of the features that they said they were gonna add. Yeah. Plus and I just like I just I'm a sucker for space games and building games, so like you can build a spaceship on the planet like once you get all the resources and then find a space with a big capital ship. I always like doing that. Yeah awesome did you did you want to talk about fallout at all i mean there's not enough i mean not much has come out about fallout in the past few weeks they've pretty much said they're going to keep a lid on it and like they're not going to talk about the storyline or anything like that until it comes out i see but i mean i think it's going to be a great game it sells itself pretty (laughs) much yeah yeah. everyone's going to play it (laughs) You know, a lot uh, more people that that played the other ones are gonna play it this time. And there's a Beyond Earth. Yeah, expansion. Rising Tide for Beyond Earth. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna try it and see if they fix a lot of the problems with the other one, with the base game. Which I mean, that's usually what they do for Civilization games. They'll come out and you're like, eh, and then they'll add some, you know, content to it, DLCs Fuck. and expansions, and it fixes like Gods and Kings for this kind of a lot of problems yeah i mean and actually in beyond earth the the online play everything works really well <laughs> even though no one wants That's to play true. it it works really well this this one they just kind of like it seems like they gave up on it like they messed up on it and they said we'll make a new game <laughs> they have fixed it though it works better than it used to yeah although they have does. said that they're not supporting it anymore yeah. but i think they fixed the the major problems with it it used to desync all the time, and we couldn't get past like what fifty turns. You did on anything about turn than a seventy, standard. it would just cancel when we could, unless, couldn't load it or anything. Unless we played a small map. Right, we're playing a normal map now. I think standard size. I think yeah, standard. It's not bad. Right. I think it's fixed most of the problems. Tend, I just tend to like modern, like space age kind of things. Just like. The, Beyond Earth wasn't that great. It was just boring. Like, there was only like, four civs, and it was like, really? Because fucking Civilization Five has like fifty. Yeah. So I don't but, know. I mean, why. a lot of those were a lot of them were added into this one. Also, but a lot of them are garbage. Yeah. I mean, are you are you building a great library right now? Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna build a library now. <laughs> the regular one. It's not great. It's just a regular library. Yeah. And We're not gonna put as many books in there, and you can't check out books for as long. But yours might not burn down. Oh yeah, the robots are gonna come and burn mine down because they're like, "Is it great?" And I'm like, "No." And they're like, "Okay, never mind. You're <laughs> it's sick. mediocre." All right, well, we'll be moving on right then. There. Move along, man. Move along. And you play the new RimWorld uh, version? I haven't, but I downloaded it. I was oh. thinking about doing it. But you just looked at it then. I just read the change log and stuff, and I was like, "That sounds good," but I couldn't be bothered to start a new game, <laughs> honestly, because it's like a lot of work when you start out. I like that well, game though. It is a good game, but like I said, I like games like that, like building and like survival kind of games. Although, Fun. what was that other one we played recently that was like really bad? I don't know. We played. Oh, we also played uh, Factorio, like more than we had played it before. Yeah, I like that. I thought that was really good. It's fun. 
My dad nice. played that too, so that's something. If you're yeah. if you're an alderman, you can play it because an alderman. My dad's very much an alderman, and he had no problem with it because he tends to dislike fast things. Although he does play Grand Theft Auto, so strangely enough, he loves that. <laughs> Well, I found Mount Kilimanjaro. Hmm. They have a, that's a mountain. You know. I also played uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2015, which has come out a long time ago. But I think it's really good. That's if you don't know anything about cars, I think it could actually teach you about cars. Perhaps, unless you know so little about cars, it's all wrong, and you just don't know it. Because you and I were talking, and we basically no basic car things like how to change and check fluids and how to like what you need to maintain day -to -day maintenance yeah car, basically but not to like overhaul it or like you know improve upon it <laughs> the only like build an engine or anything like that the only kind of weird thing in the game is that your guy has like some sort of you literally have like a mode you go into that's like a like an examine mode, and he's just like, oh, that part's bad. I'm like, how do you know? Like, it tells you the quality of the part, like, oh, it's 50%. Yeah, quality. it's like, it's like 29%, and it's like, oh. <laughs> but Babe, Lord, I am robot man. <laughs> I suppose that's something you just get if you're a mechanic. You could just look at, you could probably look at an engine and stuff if you're a mechanic, be like, that's, that's fucked up. <laughs> oh, yeah, you could probably look at it and be like, I know what a good engine looks like, and this is degraded to a point where it's not going to be running very well. Yeah. But it's it's neat, and there's like a, there was one where it was like engine power failure, and I was like, oh, okay, and I looked at it, and it was like the engine block is bad. That's like literally like the basic piece of the engine, so you have to take apart like everything to get it out. <laughs> and I was take like, the oh my out? god, yeah, you have to take out the entire engine because that's like the basic like yeah. case for that for everything. And I was like, Jesus Christ. So yeah, that, and it took me like twenty minutes. <laughs> Probably in real life it would take you days, but it depends what kind of stuff you have. Because kind of like stuff. if you unhook everything, you can hook it to like a lift, and you can just pull the engine up out of. That's true. I don't. They don't really have that. I didn't realize at first that they actually had like oil changing, like features. So I went to take the oil pan just out of the engine and it just like dumped the oil on the floor and it was like $100 cleanup charge. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> it's like, I didn't know <laughs> to do that. So then I, I realized that you have to actually like take this oil drain thing and yeah. and um, like line it up and all this shit. Ah, come on, do it. Ah, ah, ah. Well, I just, <laughs> I knew that was how it worked in real life. I just didn't know that actually was how it worked in the game, so I was just surprised. I was like, oh, shit. Wow. Well, well. <laughs> I heard your car alarm going off. Not my car alarm. That was annoying. I'm closing the door. Stupid people. God. God damn it. I, um, <laughs> I went to build my that. second city and my, oh, Christ. What is going on here? I'm not doing very well. Oh, I got great labor, yeah, that's good. Some trash, man. Trash! Ah, shit. What else are we going to talk about? I've forgotten. I was playing, because I want to play XCOM 2 when it comes out. It looks really sweet, and I like that it's PC exclusive, because I feel like they make console exclusive, ga exclusive games that aren't that great. But PC exclusive games are pretty sweet, and... It just looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I was playing the Long War mod, which is a crazy mod for XCOM Enemy Within, and pretty fun. It makes the game really hard. The game's already pretty hard, but it makes the game just drag out, <laughs> which is kind of nice because sometimes you feel like you're rushed to do things. It makes it kind of like I did feel like that. This one's kind of like stretched out over time, so it's like you might do like 20, 30 missions before you even get laser weapons, which is ridiculous. But it was kind of like that in the mm. old game, too. I've never been able to complete that game. I'm really bad at it. <laughs> I've played it a couple times on normal, but... I'm bad at it. most games. <laughs> That's your charm, Dookley. It's a Dookley charm. Is it? Because people yell at me on the internet for being bad at games. That's fine. They can shut up. <laughs> I apologize if you're an internet person and I upset you because I'm bad at games, but... 
Nowhere oh, so does it say, like, professional on my page. Like, some people in their biography for, like, YouTube and stuff say, like, pro MLG. gamer. And I'm like, <laughs> are you? Because it says you also play Roblox, so... Last time I checked, that wasn't a pro game. You big bitch. You're not pro, you bastard. You bastard. But hey. It's like, whatever. To each his own. I have three silvers, a gold, and... A stone. <laughs> I have two stone. I got some crabs. I got two crabs. I didn't notice I had two crabs. That's good. Wow. The Gustavo mother ever forward settled on me. Dick. Who's near you? This guy, Gustavo, whatever is it. Whoever that is. Oh, yeah. Gustavus Adolphus. <laughs> sure, sure. I don't know who that is. The Dutch? I don't know. No. Gustavus Adolphus. No, uh, Swedish, maybe? Yeah, the Swedes. He's a bastard. He's a real bastard. So yeah, we played a game of this before, where I was Japan and you were... I forget. Uh, I don't know. But I was doing horrible. We were Is like... The Polish? Oh yeah, you're Poland. And I was like, uh... I can't remember, we were like a hundred something turns in and my like capital city was only like a nine. <laughs> it was really bad. I was a, I had like a really good starting area on that one. I had like all the best stuff. Mine's pretty good on this one. Mine's pretty good. I have lots of luxuries and gold and shit. I'm on a kind of a small area, I guess. I haven't really been able to explore much because I've had several crises with my, my mun. Oh, there's a settler over here. I'm gonna kill him. Um... So yeah, that's gonna be a really short podcast. Unless you can think of something else. Um, I don't really know what to talk about. Can that's we? why we we kind of delayed this one. Well, I felt like I delayed it because we didn't have a whole lot to talk about because nothing really happened in August. Yeah. Um, and must have been working. <laughs> yeah. And next month, and like September and October is probably not going to be much of anything happening either, because. It just isn't. Everything's going to come out in November, so we probably will have Rising one or Tide two podcasts in November. Rising Tide comes out September 29th, I think. So I would say don't expect anything for until November, because then we'll probably do a couple. If um, I'm alive still, because I'm going to be playing he might, Fallout 4. He'll go heavily. underground to play Fallout 4, and probably yeah. won't come out for several weeks. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do one. Yeah. Maybe I'll do one without you, and then we could do another mm. one later yeah. or something. Yeah. So yeah. Is... Um, right. Uh, so if you wanted to watch uh, us actually playing a game here, we are playing one. So you can go to YouTube. I'll put a link in the description of the podcast for you to find where we're playing this, and then you can watch us play this. We've also have we done any videos on this before? I don't know. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have no I'm idea. Stupid. If you want to see us play something, you can suggest it. And vote f us on iTunes with, like, five stars, if you could, because that'd be really good. Because, 50, um... Stars. Yeah. I looked, and I don't think we have, like, any ratings. <laughs> so I was like, oh, no. Um, I just stole a settler. Uh, but it's a, it's a worker now. So, yeah. Um, this is a short podcast, but... We got. We talked about. We were really just angry about that fucking planetary annihilation thing. We just wanted you to also, know. Also, I'm still. I just want to put on record. I'm really excited for Star Citizen. It looks cool. That's and true. Yeah. Star it'd Citizen. It'll be a lot of fun. Definitely gonna play that. I when it comes out. Yeah. Also, Battlefront. Or Star Wars Battlefront. Yes. Well, we'll talk about that when we play it. Because I mean, I feel like if you were following it, you you've seen it already. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah, thank you for listening slash watching. We will see you later. <laughs> uh, later. Oh. Bye. Bye. Bye.